and welcome back to the channel push rodders episode two of our inlet manifold porting series we're going to be marking out port locations mapping out internally on our inlet runners and porting of course all right let's get into it okay so we found the port location as you can see i've just used a little steel rule and a sharpie for the vertical and the horizontal now i've done it for being a siamese port they've only got three inlet ports as such even though it's a six cylinder but i've done the two outers i have done the center one but i'm not going to worry about anything with that probably see that now what I want to do is I want to try and line up the floor of the port with the gasket and try and at least get one of the one of the sides lined up as well I'm just using a bit of a bit of masking tape. Now, if if you guys have got V8s and you're watching this similar sort of procedure um, there's plenty of great videos out there I think uh, was it Keith oh I can't remember but um, if you type in you know like say 350 Chev small block port matching or anything like that bound to come up with uh, quite a few videos on it so whether they're good bad or indifferent I'm not overly sure but Give them a crack, see what you can find. Okay, that's holding there. So we've got our inlet manifold on nice and tight. We've got rid of the, the, the tape holding our gasket on. Everything's all in position to where I want it, all lined up. Now we can, some manifolds, you may be able to see down into the actual plenum to the, where the port is and you can be able to see overhang and all that sort of stuff. This one's a little bit on the difficult side. But what we can do is we'll just trace around the outside edge of the flange on the uh, inlet manifold that'll give us a witness mark for when we take off the inlet manifold and match the gasket to the manifold again and do all our scribing and marking it out and all that sort of thing so all right let's get this thing off let's get marking so as, as you can see we've just marked in a bit of red let's go around mark out with our scribe Around the inner, and 
Now, yeah, before you go jotting in the comments, oh, you shouldn't do that with buddies, vice grips on a gasket and the rest of it. It's just an old shitty gasket, so I wouldn't stress too much. It's only there just to hold it. Pretty much, I just use this gasket as a template. That's it. Now, you may notice that the bolt holes here don't quite exactly line up with the casting of the manifold. That's something you guys are going to have to look out on when you're doing this particular or style of job yourself. Um, and, you know, just you'll have to get an old bolt that's put a point on it just as a bit of a punch or um, a little uh, rat tail file or a wad punches if, if you got them but nonetheless it's just another thing when you're doing the job to look out for so all right let's get into mapping out our ports Right here guys, we've just finished our port mapping, uh, horizontal and vertical. That's pretty much our road map, so to speak, for porting our inlet manifold. It's going to give us a good indication on where to start first, where not to really touch, all that sort of deal probably looks something similar to that now, it doesn't matter what sort of diagram you you draw or anything like that as long as you can read it that's all that really matters and you can understand it so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the easiest part first which is just around the carb flange on both ends once we get that dialed in we'll put it on our flow bench again get some numbers and then we'll go back and we'll just work our way down the port or up the port, whatever you want to call it. Same goes for this side. Alrighty, let's get into it. off for a moment if you've got you know like decent earphones or if you're watching this on your TV you know with the sound system just have a bit just take a bit of a note 
and listen to the how the vacuum cleaner reacts the noise you know like how the pitch of the sound goes up and also too you might be able to hear the air being drawn through the carb flange here take note of the how, how it sounds as well like you can hear you can sort of hear like you know with the air moving around in there and like if, if it goes turbulent like sort of hurricane I guess you could sort of say inside there you can hear it. it's like different pitch different sounds all that sort of stuff so it's just another thing when when you guys are going through all this just to take note of and you can go oh okay well I've done this modification what happens if I you know grind a little bit off center or something like that so that's just another thing to to take note of Alrighty guys, so what we've done is we've just gasket matched, went about a couple of million, put on the flow bench, didn't really see much change of anything. So we've uh, ground or ported to the pinch point, which is about centre way of the port. So we've just finished porting around the 90 degree bend. What I've done is I've taken more material about, if you sort of, I don't know if you see those scratch marks, taken more material off of this end, this being the roof, then the lower section here, try and promote a little bit more flow up on this part of the port. Let's get it onto the bench and see what it flows. Alrighty push rodders, we are going to leave episode 2 right there. Uh, episode 3, we're going to be going all over our uh, data, our figures, uh, having a little bit of a look into areas where we possibly could have improved on. Uh, I will take you for a bit of a bit of a walk around our little DIY flow bench, maybe something you guys want to replicate, so you can have a crack at all this sort of stuff yourself. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Go get your hands dirty. I'll see you next episode.